sentence away, but they still won. And what even got me even more, you know, the townspeople, my mayor, which I was in East Orange, and Mayor Bowser was the mayor at the time, and our other leading uh, citizens and leaders, they did not uh, try to uh, help us keep this building because they needed all the help that they can get when we're losing our children on a daily basis. So uh, I uh, realized that the citizens, we were the ones who were suffering. And we had to really start doing something about what was happening in our community. I see people going to jail for something they didn't do, and they're coming out worse off than what they went in. And there's something that's really, really wrong. And then you have to understand, too, that you know, since jail is privatized, you know, people get rich. You know, half of people going to jail today. You know, there's a whole lot of money being made off of crime, you know. And then there's a lot of experimenting because who can you better experiment with? And another myth that got me also in today's society is they blame it's the parents' fault. <laughs> Fool. Okay, because when drugs first came into our community, my mother was the parent. And that generation did not use drugs. They were very attentive to us. But somehow, because they didn't know that to worry about drugs coming into the community, so they wasn't looking for that. So that's when they sneaked it in on our kids, uh, their kids. And our children and grandchildren today are suffering from it, but it did not start with bad parents. We are the children of those parents that now is the parents. But how we got there, it is because our society brought this poison in our community without our parents, my mother made me like your grandmother, who had no knowledge this stuff even exists. Because they knew it exists, they would have definitely, you know, sheltered us from this, but they did not know anything about marijuana. They knew a little bit about a little alcohol, that's it, but they didn't know anything about heroin. All they wanted us to do was to go to school. And that's how, you know, drugs. So it's not, it's not the parents' fault. Mm -hmm. It's a the system who brought those drugs into our community. In my generations, in the 60s, okay, our parents were very attentive, very caring, very sober-minded. So that's where it all really related from. So um, I believe, you know, yes, the government and our legislators do have a responsibility. But in the meantime, you hear people say, you know what they should do? You know what they should do? And I asked, well, who the hell is it? they? You know, <laughs> do you know what we should do? You're what right. we need to do? And we came a long ways with nothing. You know, we don't have to have some of the material things. We need to come back and living together and sharing and look good spiritually and not just physically. You know, if you're eating right and doing the right thing, you're going to look good and live longer. And that's what counts. And I think we off to the left instead of the right. We're more thinking, this, don't I look good? Like that's supposed to make you know. If that does not get you into heaven, you know. So I think we're looking at it wrong, maybe because we've been deprived, but it's time that we wake up and start, as the saying go, and smell the coffee and realize what we have to do and stop buying a lot of the unnecessary things just to show off. And even with Christmas, you know, you go out there, you spend all this here money and all these gifts, but the children do not know how to feel good and kind. They think because they got these material things, it's going to make them happy, but they need so much more than that. So, uh, Tyrone, you see, we came from a long ways. We started in 79, and as you know, there's a lot of children who has benefited from our program. And I'd like to thank you so very much for having me, because I am a breakthrough. You are <laughs> indeed a breakthrough. So, uh, thank you 
so very much. <laughs> Thank you, Shahada. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, y'all. I would just like to thank y'all for watching Tyrone Jackson's Breakthrough. If you want more information about Tyrone Jackson's Breakthrough, you can reach me at 973-752-5995 or 973-375-6503. And um, Jahada, would you like to give a quick encouragement word to our viewers? Well, first of all, I would like for them to know if they need us, where we are located at. We are, you can reach us at 973-676-9884. And on Mondays at 7 o'clock, we meet at the uh, Revival Temple of Deliverance. That's 8185 16th Avenue on the corner of Lillerton Avenue, where Reverend Woods is the pastor. Uh, but you can call us anytime, anytime, like uh, Tyrone asked me, do I sleep? If I am, I will wake up, if it's important. And again, thank you, Tyrone, so much. I'd like to thank y'all, and don't forget, turn off your TV sets. Thank you.